Energy is making progress on getting power back to people across the metro area, but there are still some folks in the dark this morning. Joining us now this morning is Sandra Miller. She's the vice president of customer service with the utility. Sandra, can you just give us an update? How many people are still without power this morning? Um, currently, uh, across the metro area, we have about uh, 22,000 customers in Orleans Parish who are without power. And in, in southeast Louisiana, we have about 69,000 customers who are without power, about 30,000 customers in, in south that, uh, that are without power. But this is a huge restoration effort. We, we've restored power to over 330,000 customers across the state of Louisiana. In, in, in a matter of three days. And so this has been a Herculean effort by our crews in the field, and I couldn't be more proud of them and, and working hard to get as many residents restored as quickly as possible. Yes, Considering Andrew, that this was a, a serious storm yeah, that came through here, category absolutely. two. Almost a, yeah. almost a cat three practically. Uh, you know, we're almost seeing so much three. green in that map now in comparison to yesterday, but there still are some trouble areas. Where are some of the trouble areas that you're seeing? Is it uh, look like St. Bernard Parish, but also maybe lower Jefferson Parish still? That's right. We're seeing, um, you know, we're having some trouble getting through some of the debris and, and, and some of the vegetation issues there, but we're working with local and, and parish officials and being able to clear those out. Um, and, and, you know, we're seeing some trouble spots, uh, you know, in some spots of the city as well, but the city of New Orleans as well. But we're working very hard with our local officials, with our parks and parkways to get those areas cleaned out so we can get our crews in there to restore power to those customers as well. Sandra, you guys got the power back on at my house in less than six hours, so kudos to you on that. But however, some of my neighbors have been in the dark and still are in the dark. Why are some houses back online and others aren't? Yeah, that's a very good question, and and we, we're hearing that because you know we can actually restore a feeder, you know, a huge line of houses, but then there are some offshoots of that feeder where we'll actually have to walk down those areas to figure out where the problem is, and we're finding that we're encountering you know debris, we're we're encountering um, issues in being able to get to our facilities where we need to make the repair. So that's why it's taking a little bit more time because you have to surgically go into those areas and figure out where the problem um, is located. And so that's a very good point. I want customers to understand you might see your neighbor on and you may not have power on because we're still trying to make sure we're isolating the problem and making a repair as well. So it's a very good question. This is a massive restoration project, as you, as you said. Uh, what have been some of the challenges here? I mean, just getting the manpower probably had had to be a challenge, I'd imagine. Yeah, well, the manpower did actually come in and, and to support us, you know, and as you all know, we have to make sure we're staging our crews out of harm's way until the storm passes. We sent in uh, scouts to do the damage assessment, and then we deploy our crews um, right behind that. And, and they're also working with the scouts as well to make some repairs and restoration along the way. But the important piece I want everyone to understand is that this is a huge effort. You have uh, debris you have lines down and I want to say that um, you know the head of our um, uh, parks and parksway Ian McDonald said you know you know a hundred thousand trees across the city got a haircut when this storm came through and there was debris going everywhere um, trees down and so we have to work together to make sure that we're clearing out areas so that we can restore power as quickly as we can and, and, and I'm telling you you know, three days, this many people restored, down to 22,000 customers out at a peak of 178 in, in Orleans Parish. You know, we restored over 333,000 customers in the state. I mean, these crews are doing a Herculean, you know, job. I mean, this is just a lot of work phenomenal, out there for sure. Effort. Thank you so much, Sandra. I appreciate you joining us. That's Sandra Miller with Entergy. Appreciate your time. Uh, we've got a whole lot more coming up in.